hey everybody, Red X Rain here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green uh, Randomizer Nuzlocke. So I did quite a bit of grinding off screen. As you can see, I got Bindi up to level 13. Um, the reason I had done that was because uh, I have to face Brock, of course, and the, the, the Rock Gym Leader. Um, and... Um, I, uh, I realized that while I have a water Pokemon in Bindi, I didn't have any water attacks. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just grind a little bit. I think probably learns, like, Bubble or Water Gun at, like, level 10 or something. Not until level 13. 13! Until you get... Un until Totodile gets an elemental attack. That's ridiculous. By the way, if we try and leave the city, this guy doesn't let us, which, uh kind of sucks, but, uh, but it gets us there without me having to move, have to move my fingers, so, so I'll take it. So, at this point in the game, yeah, they don't give you any real choice, so that's why I was really big on, like, well, I can't even count on, you know, going to, like, the next route and being like, maybe I can catch a grass or something else kind of Pokemon. I had to get Bindi up, but I was so shocked that it was... God, level 13 for uh, for Totodile to, to, to learn uh, Water Gun. I was actually, to be quite honest, hi Camper Sonia. Um, I was a little uh, worried that maybe like something that I had done with like the randomizer like broke the game, you know, like uh, like it wasn't learning stuff like early enough because of some setting that I did where like oh I didn't use the national Pokedex, so it doesn't even know what Pokemon this is, or something like that, but, uh, so I went over to the Bulbapedia, which is, like, if, if you're not familiar, it's, like, the Wikipedia just for Pokemon stuff, and it's, like, the most intensely, like, they have everything on there. It is amazing, uh, how much information there is about, like, every Pokemon, and every single character, and all the gen generations and stuff, and, uh, yeah, I had to look it up, and, yeah, in Gen 3, Gosh, level 13, that is so late. Oh, well, looks like Beatrix is going to finally meet her... Not meet her maker. She's going to meet... I mean, I hope not. Uh, but she's going to meet uh, the, the plan that I've laid out for her. Now she's going to actually be a bee. Um, I was gonna, oh, I that was something else I was going to say. But Oh, that's right, because this is sort of getting back to what I was talking about. I think it'll be two videos ago now, because again, I'm just kind of recording this in one big sort of marathon session, which I don't normally do. Um, I usually have very clearly defined episodes for myself, but I was talking about how I just don't like, uh, I just don't like gold and I don't like silver. Oh, so, well, it says Brock here, but I bet it'll say something different later. Um, but man, that's weird, man. Oh, yes, I know. I, 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 I came here knowing that. I did a lot of grinding. I was just telling my viewers. The cool, awesome, uh, Marcellus. I love the, uh, the gym battle music in this, uh, in this version. It's great. There's so much good music in, uh, Pokemon. There's no doubt about it, but... But it always comes back. I mean, honestly, it doesn't always kind of come back to, like, the original. Maybe I'm just, like, an old, stoggy kind of person where I, <laughs> I just refuse to get with the time. I mean, I, here's the thing. I like... Um, I haven't... To be quite honest, I haven't formed, like, a full opinion on X and Y yet. I'm still working on X and Y. Um, I, but I really like white and black. Um, I'm really... I, I really do like those. And there we go. That was... That was fast, as it should have been. But again, I shouldn't have had to grind that much for Bindi, but, you know. C'est la vie. And so we get all our stuff. Now, you know, I'm actually not sure. I think, even though I randomized all the items in the game, I think the TMs and HMs are going to be the same. I hope so, actually, now that I think about it, because if the HMs get shuffled, then I wouldn't really be able to, like, progress. Like, if I can't get cut 
when I'm supposed to get cut, how can I progress in the game? Hmm. I probably should have. I think I think key items are staying the same. I'm 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 almost positive. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna train Beatrix just a little bit. Just get her up to the next level real quick. So I'll be I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Did a little bit of grinding just because she was so close to leveling up, and we're we're going into uh, kind of new territory with um, with a whole bunch of trainers. This could be a marathon of of, of trainers and. But, you know, I had, to, I had to do a couple fights, and I went to, like, the Pokemart and got some stuff. Really boring stuff that you guys don't really need to see. Oh, that's right. We get the... The running shoes, right? Right. Thank God, too, because... I'm glad they give you the running shoes early. Although, it... I don't know, it's... It does seem like a weird thing, like, why they don't just let you run from the get-go, like... Does it really, like, make that big a difference? I mean, it makes a big difference to have the running shoes. I love, ha like, obviously having them is great before, until you get the bike to go even faster. But, like, what what about just walking makes the game any more... Like, what are they worried... If you were able to run just from the get-go, what would they... What do they think would happen, like, negatively? Like, why, why don't they just let you run from the beginning? I, I, I'll never quite get that. Um, okay, so that's a terrible setup right there. I probably should have known to not have Beatrix out front. Because I think a lot of these trainers over here, there's some there's some bug catchers, lots of lasses, and... Um, and they all oh, have, like, Pidgeys and Spearows and those kinds of Pokemon, right? It'll all come back to me. Eventually. I hope. It would. Now what I'm really looking forward to is I think there's I'll be able to get two two more Pokemon. Like I'm hoping to get maybe two more Pokemon in this episode because um, definitely doing a, doing a Nuzlocke here, knowing that I'm kind of like. Well, I am limited, there's no doubt about it. That's what a Nuzlocke is about. It's about limiting things to make things a little bit more difficult. Um, let me switch Beatrix here. Let's give let's give Harvey some uh, some experience. Experience. Experience, I don't know why I said it's so weird. Uh, especially because it's a bug catcher, so this will be really easy. Experience. Look at your pie, okay? Oh man, yesterday was pie day, and I didn't, I didn't eat any pie. Yeah, it was, it was 314, 3.14. I'm not even a math person, but I, I like that, I like that, uh, I like that tradition of, of pie day, but clearly not enough, because I, I knew it was coming, and I forgot to pick up, like, a slice of, single slice of pie or something. That's too bad. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, my usual approach to... Pokemon, at least um, when it comes to playing like this generation, you know, with like uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, or I mean, I haven't played, gosh, I haven't played like Red, Blue, or Yellow in forever. Um, it's, it's really, uh, to be quite honest, even though I grew up with those, it, it, they're 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 faulty in in more than in more than more than one way. Um, yeah, it's where everything began, but. Leaf Green and Fire Red are about as far back so it can really go, I think. Uh, just in terms of it being like a smooth playing experience and like, um, you know, not not just graphics, but just like the whole, like, uh, like, like the whole like box system with like trading Pokemon out, like, God, looking back at like Red and Blue, how it was just taxed. Like you couldn't even like physically like see the Pokemon or like check their statuses. It would, if you had... I mean, if you had, like, you know, a box with only, like, one or two in it, and it's not a big deal, but when you start having, like, multiple boxes with multiple, uh, species in each box, like, you know, multiple Rattatas or multiple Pikachus, it would get just ridiculous. Um, but, uh, where I'm going with this is that usually my approach when I'm playing, like, yeah, uh, red and green like this 
is that I try and go as far as I can, almost like beyond the point where the game wants me to go, to get as many Pokemon as I possibly can so that I have the greatest like variety to choose from, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, like you know, here's like totally, like if, if there was that, that, that guy wasn't like standing guard here um, and like makes you go fight Brock before you can go to where I'm at right now, I would totally be over here and I would be like, just training the hell out of my Pokemon and, and, and going to like Mount Moon and, and getting, you know, not going all the way through Mount Moon um, and kind of like there's, there's some gra grassy patches here in this route that I'm on now, um, just so I'd have the most and, and get the most experience, but of course the game stops you from doing that. But later, um, you can kind of like play around with that a lot. And so I, I, I do that, like I said, normally, like all the time. I go a little bit farther in terms of routes. I skip gyms. I kind of save gyms for like as late as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to switch out here really quick because I don't think this Caterpie is going to take uh, Harvey down with a tackle, but it's just a little too close. I, you know, you got to play it safe with a, with a, with a Nuzlocke. Either way, Harvey's going to level up, because I think even if he shares the experience with Beatrix, it should be enough to bump him up. Oh, just that little sliver. Of course, it's always that little sliver. But I, I, I yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, I mean, I'm glad I, I kind of, like, already do that, and, like, I, like, that's, like, my immediate instinct is to kind of, oh, yep, see, there we go, uh, is to kind of, like, you know, hold off on gems as long as I can. Oh, look, it's Meat Pod. Uh, yeah, some easy experience for Beatrix, why not? Yeah, it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a long match. But it's an easy one, just a long one. Uh, but yeah, with that being my, uh, my, my go-to plan all the time, I, that's what I'm gonna try and do here, is, uh... But again, the Nuzlocke does kind of reduce things, and it'll be interesting to see how that also changes that oh god I'm so glad I got him poisoned because at least that's like consistent day. see that's the other thing I like about poison I was talking about this last time poison is my absolute favorite status um, like infliction because even if you do nothing in a turn like even if you have to heal or switch out or something like that you still do some damage plus it has nothing to do with like um, what like you know he can harden all he wants, it's going to be the same amount of damage from poison every single time. I just like that consistency of just knowing, like, it's going to be, you know, I'll always be doing some amount of damage. Which is why, to me, my favorite move in all of, of, of Pokemon has got to be Toxic. Um, that might sound weird. Um, also, by the way, I'm going to try, I'm going to go back, I think, and I'm going to heal up. Oh yeah, definitely got to heal up, uh... Harvey here real quick. I think I can make it to the Pokemon Center this time. And, uh... Let's see. Nope. Just like last time. I think it was... Was it Bindi last time? I think got poisoned in the Viridian Forest, and I had to, uh... There we go. Would have used an antidote, but I don't have one. Potions are more expensive, but oh well. Um... But yeah, well, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to... Because I really want to get to that next little grassy area and catch a new Pokemon. And then, like, I don't want to waste all these trainers on. Because, like, my team's pretty good right now. I'm Harvey's doing okay. Bendy's doing okay. I'm not super invested in Beatrix, like I said. Let's get some antidotes before that happens again, by the way. Maybe a couple potions, too. And Pokeballs. How many Pokeballs do I got? Uh, four? Eh, I guess I'm good with that. Um, get, definitely get some potions, and, uh, mm, two's good for now. I don't think I really need anything else. I'll grab a repel just in case in Mount Moon, and an escape rope for Mount Moon, because normally, yeah, there's an escape rope in Mount Moon, but I have the randomized items, so, um... Unless there's some, like, some really crazy coincidence where it got traded out, one escape rope got traded out for another. You know, I can't count on that, just in case. So I'll leave some of those trainers. Um, who's out front? 
Harvey still. Okay, good. Yeah, there's that grass. I just want to get to that grass right down there. Well, that's a good strategy. Very, very good strategy. Yes, use Pokemon that you just caught. Where he just caught in a level 11 Caterpie? I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter, because I got a bird, you got a bug. And that's not bode well for you, my friend. Even your meat pod. One hit? Nah. Harvey's not quite there yet. He's doing alright, though. I think I had a... I think I've played... Like, I've taken a, a Spearow all the way up to being a Fearow, and it was okay. I mean... I feel like I've done that before. Maybe. I don't normally use a lot of bird Pokemon, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not really commonplace for me. I, yeah, I'm not big on bird Pokemon. Um, Fly is awesome, of course, but I usually just, like, catch, you know, like, a Pidgey or something and use it as, like, an HM slave and just, whatever. I'm trying to think if I should, because I don't want to kill, you know, I don't want to overkill a, a Pokemon. I have to be very careful. Um, about what Pokemon I have up front to catch whatever I'm going to catch. I think... Yeah... I'm just going to stick with Harvey. I think, I think, I think it'll be okay. Because I'm worried that, um, with, uh, Beatrix, like, the poison sting is going to poison it, and then, you know, then that can backfire. Uh, Taylo... Funny, I was just talking about how I don't normally... Ooh, wow, that was more than I thought it would be, but that looks like a good point. Um, I'll go ahead and throw a Pokeball here. Um, where are they? They're there. That's funny, I was just talking about how I don't normally have bird Pokemon, and now half my team is bird Pokemon. Now, Taillow, I don't think I've ever raised a Taillow beyond... What's it? It turns into a Swallow? Swalo or something like that? Right. Um, I don't know. Uh, a Lady Bird. Let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go with that. Lady Bird. Lady Bird is the name of this... Is the name of this... This Lady Bird. Yep. I don't know. I don't see this, uh... Lasting too long. But, again, we'll see. Nuzlocke, you never know. Um, but that seems like a nice point for now. That's a good high note, high note to end on. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I do always appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time, and we'll, I guess, do some Taylo training. Till then, bye.